Hello? Hello, hello? Are you there? Oh, great. Well...
long.
thought you wouldn't be a problem. Um, you didn't happen to see anything unusual during the night, did you? Like, uh, a machine not working or something. P probably not. Anyways, you did a good job. All machines were working during the day. So, just keep it up. Um, about that rumor I mentioned yesterday. Um, the, th the thing is, uh, or, or you know what, just never mind, forget about that. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I should probably mention though, n not to scare you or anything, but uh, it is a little fact that uh, maybe you should know about. As you might know, the factory closed down seven years ago, and yeah, you probably know that uh, Wario and the rest of the gang who was here, um, well, they were never found, so we don't really know what happened to them. But, but anyways, that's not the point. So six years ago, um, uh, one year after the factory got closed down, a woman passing by the abandoned factory, she claimed to see Wario in the window, only different. And the same thing happened to a man last year. So we don't really know what they meant by that. Do you know anything about this? Well, during these seven years, it has only happened twice, so they were probably just something they imagined. So yeah, check those cameras, see if everything is working correctly, and only use the doors and lights in case you feel like. So keep up the good work, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Hello. Well, look at that. Your third night. We've done a good job. You've managed to save the power great, so just keep up the good work you've done. Um, there is something that I maybe should mention. The stories around the things that happened seven years ago, well, they, they are in fact um, true. Well, nobody knows really what happened. But what we know is that on a Monday about seven years ago, Wario and Waluigi went to work. And as you probably have heard somewhere, they went missing, they never came back from work, and they never came out of the factory. And later the same night, Mario and Luigi, they went into the factory to look for them. But the thing is, they never came out either. And people have also mentioned that Mario's a girlfriend or some sort, a peach or something, I don't know if that's the correct name. She went in to look for Mario when he went missing, and apparently she was never found either. And after Peach disappeared, someone came up with a rumor of the factory being cursed or something, and they decided to close it off. Um, we have not really any clue on what really happened, though some witnesses have said that Early in the morning on that same day, an unknown person went into the factory. And, uh, yeah, nobody really knew who that person was or anything. And the weird thing is, he never came out either. We also had a Wario costume in the back room. You know, for mascot purposes. And the weird thing, uh, that costume actually disappeared on that same day. So we don't really know where it is. So yeah, the factory has a bit of a dark backstory, I guess. But it looks to have a bright future. By the way, have you been doing something to the machine in the machinery room? We came to work earlier today and the machine was turned off. And as far as we know, these machines are protected with a code of some sort that really only the employees or previous employees know about. You haven't touched that or something, have you? Oh well, it's back on again now, so just hang in there, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.